application of the wrist brace with BOA. Use the Exos measuring tape to select the proper size brace. Before heating, make sure the brace is tented to allow for proper airflow and even heating of the brace. Heat the wrist brace for 3 to 4 minutes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Gently apply over the hand and wrist. Connect the hook and loop strap between the thumb and forefinger. Quickly remove slack from the boa line by turning the boa to the right. For even tightening, pull the opposite ends of the boa line until they're even, and then proceed with tightening. The boa line should only be tightened enough to take out the slack in the line. Over tightening when warm will deform the soft polymer. Gently mold into the desired position. Make sure the brace is held closely to the palm and the back of the hand. The brace should be firm in two and a half to three minutes. Once the brace is firm, the boa can be tightened as desired. The brace should not be worn too tightly. This may produce excessive mechanical force or shear forces to the skin. For general wearing, the brace should have a little wiggle room to allow for airflow and to avoid shear to the skin. As always, please give each patient the care instructions included with their brace. Carefully review the physician's protocol for brace adjustment and removal. If the patient will be allowed to adjust their brace for swelling or atrophy or remove their brace for cleaning or gentle range of motion exercises, then instruct them on proper BOA operation. Periodic cleaning of the brace and skin are critical for hygiene and odor control. If brace loosening or removal are allowed, instruct the patient to wash the inside of the brace thoroughly with antibacterial soap and rinse thoroughly with water. Dry it using a hair dryer set on high volume and a cool or warm setting. Dry both the brace and the skin until they're thoroughly dry. If the brace will not be loosened or removed, you may consider a stockinette sleeve under the brace to improve airflow.